Hi guys, so today sasagutan natin itong problem number 22 galing sa Fundamentals of Physical Chemistry by Samuel Maron and Jerome Lando. Well, on this problem, we will be asked to use the Bertillo equation which is the equation of state for real gas. So, check natin yung problem na sasagutan natin, okay? A sample of vapor weighing 0.18 grams occupies a volume of 53.1 cubic centimeter at 27 degrees Celsius and 760 millimeter pressure. The critical pressure of the vapor is 47.7 atmosphere, while the critical temperature is 288.5 degrees Celsius. By the use of the Bertillo equation, calculate the molecular weight of the vapor and compare the result with the calculated by the ideal gas law. Okay, so as I said earlier, gagamit tayo ng Bertillo equation dito, no? And then, i-compare natin yung makukuha natin molecular weight dito sa ideal gas law gagamitin natin, okay? So, ito ang ating Bertillo equation. Yan ang ating gagamitin to answer this question. But first, let us write yung mga given natin na values, okay? Okay, so ang unang given natin, meron tayong weight ng vapor which is 0.18 grams. Our mass is equal to 0.18 grams. Then we have our volume which is 53.1 cubic centimeter. And we know that this is equal to 53.1 milliliters, right? And then, the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. And our pressure is 760 millimeter, where this is in millimeter mercury. So, we have 760 millimeter mercury, which we know this is equal to 1 atmosphere. And then, given ang ating critical pressure, no? So, we have our critical pressure which is equal to 47.7 atmosphere. And then, ang ating critical temperature is 288.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's start solving our problem. So, gagamitin natin ang ating Bertillo equation, no? So, first, dahil ang pinapahanap sa atin is molecular weight, so we have to substitute that dito sa ating equation, ng Bertillo equation. No? So, we know that molecular weight is equal to the mass of the substance over the number of moles of the substance. Since ang hahanapin natin is yung molecular weight, and then we have the number of moles in our equation, then we can substitute our number of moles to have mass over the molecular weight. Now, substituting that dito sa ating Bertillo equation, we will have Tv is equal to our value of N, which is mass over molecular weight, times RT, then the rest of the equation. We have 1 plus 9 TTC over 128 PCT times 1 minus 6 TC squared over T squared. Okay? And then, since molecular weight ang kailangan natin kunin, we are going to isolate itong molecular weight natin dito. So, we will have molecular weight is equal to MRT over PV and then the rest of our formula, okay? And since we are using an SI units here, no, we have grams, milliliter, degree Celsius, atmosphere. So that means, ang gagamitin nating universal gas constant here, is 0 0.08205 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. Okay, so yan ang gagamitin nating R natin. No? 
then the rest of our units will be consistent, no? Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. Okay, now gagamitin natin itong ating mga given values sa ating equation. Okay, so we'll start here. We have the molecular weight is equal to the mass which is 0.18 grams. Okay, so we have here 0.18 grams. Our R which is 0.08205 our temperature should be expressed in Kelvin. No? So we have 27 here. We have 27 plus 273. Okay, to make it Kelvin. Over our pressure which is 1 atmosphere. So we have 1. And then our volume which is 53.1 cc or 53.1 milliliter. So we have 53.1. But we need to convert it to liter, so we will divide this by 1,000. Okay, so this is a conversion to liters. Okay, now the rest of our equation, we have 1 plus 9 times P. Okay, our pressure is equal to 1 atmosphere. And then our TC, we have 288.5. Then convert this to Kelvin divided by 128 times PC, okay, our critical pressure which is 47.7 atmosphere times our temperature which is 27 degrees Celsius but we'll convert that into Kelvin. And then, 1 minus 6. And then our critical temperature, which is 288.5 degrees Celsius. 288.5. Converting this to Kelvin. And this is squared. Over our temperature, which is 27 degrees Celsius. It's 273 squared. Okay. Uh, we will make it easier by solving this by parts, no? So, so we have here 0 0.18 times 0 0.08205 times 27 plus 273 divided by 53.1 over 1000. And this is equal to 83.4406. So, this is 83.4406. Zero six, okay? Okay, solving lang natin itong mga maraming numbers dito para madali natin siyang ma-calculate, no? Then, we have here 9 times 1 times 288.5 plus 273 divided by 128 and divided by 47.7 and again by 27 plus 273 and this is equal to 0 0.002759. Zero point zero zero two seven five nine, and then we have here six times two hundred eighty eight point five plus two hundred seventy three squared over twenty seven plus two hundred seventy three squared, and this is equal to twenty one point zero one eight eight. Therefore, we will have here molecular weight is equal to eighty three. 0 0.4406 times 1 plus 0 0.002759 times 1 minus 21.0188. And then solving for this, yung nasa loob ng ating bracket, no? We have 1 plus 0 0.002759 times 1 minus 21.0188, this is equal to 0 0.94477. So therefore, we have here molecular weight is equal to 83.4406 times 0 
and this is equal to 78.83 grams per gram mole. Okay, so this is our molecular weight using the Bertillo equation. And now we need to compare this using the ideal gas law, okay? For the ideal gas, we have Pb is equal to nRT. And as we got earlier, we know that N is equal to M over the molecular weight. So therefore, we have Pb is equal to M over molecular weight times RT. So therefore, molecular weight is equal to M RT over PV. No? So substitute natin yung mga values natin. Molecular weight is equal to ang ating mass. 0.18 ang ating R 0.08205 ang ating temperature which is 27 plus 273 ang ating pressure which is 1 atmosphere at ang ating volume na 53.1 cc converting that to liter will divide by 1000 no? so our molecular weight using the ideal gas law is equal to 83.1 44 grams per gram mole. And this is our final answer using the ideal gas law. So, makikita ninyo yung comparison, no? Meron pinagkaiba if we use the ideal gas law and the real gas equation of state, which is the Bertillo equation. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much and have a nice day!